Hello, I'm Judge Bernice Donald, and it's my honor to congratulate C. Alicia Frazier on becoming the 2021 winner of the Father Drynan Award. Alicia epitomizes the life and work of Father Drynan. She's a passionate leader, advocate, lawyer, friend, and humanitarian. When I think of Alicia, I think of the words of Michelle Obama, who said that success is not about the amount of money that you make, but it's about the difference that you make in others' lives. Alicia has made a difference in the lives of so many, and certainly in the life and work of this organization. Congratulations, Alicia, on a life well lived and an award well deserved. Alicia, congratulations on the great honor of receiving the Civil Rights and Social Justice Section's Father Drynan Award. Uh, Father Drynan was a person of great integrity and wisdom and principle, somebody who uh, everybody watching this certainly aspires to. Uh, you had the opportunity during your year as chair to present this award uh, to Roy Hammer, who was um, one of the uh, financial and spiritual and intellectual uh, leaders of the section in the fine tradition of this award. Uh, it's really important uh, that our section have the service of great chairs uh, during the course of your year. Uh, you also were able to present the uh, Thurgood Marshall Award uh, to Elaine Jones, uh, the first woman uh, to lead the uh, NAACP Legal Defense Fund. Uh, again, a person of uh, you know just just great character and skill and importance, and um, you know you have been able to be at these great moments of our history, and uh, it's all summed up in uh, the uh, award being given you today. So um, uh, I hope that you are quite proud of it, and congratulations on receipt of the uh, section's Father Drynan Award. Hello, my name is Miles Link, and I'm delighted and honored to be able to give a short video tribute to Alicia Frazier. I remember when Alicia was chair of the section and she held her uh, spring meeting in uh, Memphis, uh, Tennessee, and it was a wonderful, wonderful meeting. And I remember visiting the Civil Rights Museum and I just remember all of the wonderful leadership opportunities she provided to people of color to address issues affecting people of color when she chaired the section. I also appreciated her incredible mentorship to many in the section, including myself. I remember sitting down with her for lunch one day in New York during an ABA annual meeting, and she mapped out for me uh, how I might become chair of the section one day and I was able to do that. Alicia has been a wonderful friend, a wonderful leader, a wonderful mentor, and a wonderful model to so many people in the ABA and throughout her professional career and personal life. And she is a wonderful recipient of the Father Drynan Award for all that she has contributed to our section. Congratulations, Alicia, and thank you for being a part of our section you, by your presence, lend status and stature to what we do. Thank you. Hi, my name is Natalyn Archibong. I'm a member of the Atlanta City Council and the State Bar of Georgia. I know from experience that Alicia epitomizes an excellent public sector attorney. She is passionate about the law, maintains a high level of ethics and integrity, and is a mentor to many young attorneys. Her candor, her wit, and her outstanding legal skills make her a true treasure. This is a fitting honor for a woman who works so tirelessly for our city and the profession. Congratulations, Alicia. Alicia, congratulations. It is wonderful that you are being honored with the Father Trinan Award. Your life exemplifies selflessness and always putting others before yourself and always giving back. It is a part of your fabric. And I'm so happy that you have been recognized for the beautiful person you are. Again, congratulations and much love. Hi, Alicia. It's Richard Soden calling in to wish you a 
hearty congratulations on your father trying an award. Uh, you know, I really would have thought they would have given this to you before. Uh, so well deserved and your leadership throughout the ABA on matters of civil rights and social justice is legendary and I am happy to be amongst those uh, able to uh, be present and to uh, uh, offer you my congratulations on this great achievement. Hope to see you soon. Bye. Almost live from New York, it's Ron Tabak to congratulate Alicia Frazier on getting the Father Gronin Award for 2021. No one deserves it more. She was a tremendous section delegate. She was a great section leader, and she still is a force to be reckoned with in the ABA and in general. The only difficulty about Alicia is that although she's a great baseball fan, she doesn't root for the correct team, but that's what ball games are about. So I look forward to seeing you in person, uh, not just virtually, at future ABA events. Congratulations again. This is Steve Wormiel, and I want to congratulate Alicia Frazier for uh, winning the well-deserved Father Drynan Award. Um, Alicia, you are a force of nature. Um, you have been so wonderful and helpful and supportive to so many people, uh, including me, uh, when I first served on an ABA committee. Uh, you were the chair of the standing committee on um, strategic communication, um, which I was a member of, and you showed me the ropes and taught me what to do and have uh, been helpful and supportive ever since then. And so I really can't think of a better person to be honored with the Father Drynan Award. And congratulations. Hello all, this is Walter White coming to you from a very rainy and a very quarantined London, England. It is my true joy to share in the appreciation of the recognition of Elysia Frazier for the Father Drynan Award. Elysia, this is a very due recognition and award for your extraordinary contributions to the section as well as to the American Bar Association as a whole. I'm proud of you, my friend, and thank you for your so many contributions. Ms. C. Alicia Frazier and I have known one another a long time since our young lawyer days. Blessedly, Alicia is one of those rare lambent souls whose friendship only deepens and enriches with time, like a fine wine, or, in the case of Alicia and me, like a cocktail for which we have a particular fondness, a sidecar. Here's to you, Alicia. Alicia is a mighty human. Bold and courageous, both in her daring and in her caring. Justice matters to Alicia. People matter to Alicia. And when something matters to Alicia, she is fierce and indomitable. In making matters right. That's why she's a heroine, both in life and in our section. Trailblazing heroines sometimes ruffle feathers. And I think Alicia is one of the most underappreciated of our extraordinary section heroes. So it's tremendously gratifying to me personally that we are recognizing Elysia today. You know, I'm proud, very proud, of our current chair, Angela Scott, for many reasons. But choosing to honor Elysia with the Father Drynan Award is at the top of the list. I love you, Elysia. Alicia, my soror, my mentor, and my dear friend. It is with admiration and sincere appreciation that I congratulate you today 
on being the first African-American woman to receive the Father Drinan Award. I first met you years ago when I served as the Young Lawyer Division Liaison to IRR. You welcomed me with open arms and put me right to work. At the time, I had a full plate. I was still very new to the ABA, and I probably would have preferred a more behind the scenes role, but you would not take no for an answer, and now I understand why. You appointed me co-chair of the Civil Rights and Equal Opportunity Committee, and under your leadership, I made myself at home in CRSJ and never looked back. Often, when we talk about inclusion, all that is needed is a meaningful opportunity. A wise woman once said, diversity is being invited to the party, inclusion is being asked to dance. I remain grateful that you believed in me enough to ask me to dance. This year, we have so many new members and I've appointed talented and diverse section leaders who have really dived in and got to work. I'm walking the path that you paved. I can only hope that I am able to provide them with the same warm and welcoming experience that you provided me so many years ago. Your inspiration continues to make a difference even beyond your awareness. I know all of the work you have done out front and behind the scenes. I know how hard you advocate for diversity, equity, and inclusion, and how much you are a champion for civil rights and equal opportunity, even when no one is watching. I know how committed you are to the section, and I know how much the section means to you. On behalf of the section, I am pleased to be able to show you just how much you mean to us by presenting you with this well-deserved and long overdue recognition. Congratulations, Alicia, on being the 2021 Father Robert F. Dryman Award recipient.